pen well, I ain't shot that woman. Yeah, Mike Tyson, boy, rough year, man. That motherfucker was talking a lot of shit. I love Mike. I wanted him to win. I thought he was, and so did he. He got a ass whipping. You know that you got your ass whipped when after the fight you become a nice guy. I got some blood on you. There's some blood on your face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get blood on your face. I love the Nexus mother, I love the kid. You were going to eat his kid. I wasn't going to eat his kid. That's bullshit. I wasn't going to eat his kid. See, I wanted him to win, because whenever society don't want something, I want it. I wanted him to fucking win. But he didn't. I don't give a fuck how bad you are. Somebody out there that can put their foot in your ass. You can just hope you never in the same room at the same goddamn time. Now, Vegas made me mad because they, they didn't want to let Mike Tyson fight there. You can do anything in Vegas. Vegas is this side of hell. You can gamble. You can drink all night. You can buy a hoe. Now, nah, I ain't never bought no hoe. She was just a nice girl. <laughs> and they asked me for $500 so I could tell her about my problem. But they ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> Mike Tyson almost fucked up $20 million. For $20 million, I'd fight Mike. Of course, you better go shopping first. Because you ain't going to recognize none of that shit after the fight. I was in here yesterday. I bought the Rolex. My arms don't work anymore. Can you put it on my ear? Bling, bling. <laughs> we do different shit. I was down in Amsterdam. Anybody ever been to Amsterdam? You can smoke weed in Amsterdam. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke weed, but I was down there, you know. It, it's against the law not to smoke it, so I don't want to be breaking the law over nobody else's country, so, you know. Ooh, I fucked around and smoked some hash. Don't ever do that shit. That shit is too, I, I was high for eight hours. Fuck that. I can't think of shit I want to do for eight hours. That ain't that high. That's a job. God damn. When are we going on break? It's some bullshit. I, I need a five or something. God damn. You know you high when you start crying. I don't want to be high anymore. <laughs> Please, Jesus, I want to come down. I can't, I can't stay up here. Taught me something. The war on drugs in this country is bullshit. We're not trying to stop nobody with a boat or a plane from coming to this motherfucker. We don't really want to stop that. But a dude get caught with a nickel bag, he's going to spend the rest of his fucking life in jail. That's what I don't get. Why are we drug testing everybody? Drug testing people with lives in their hand, bus drivers, airplanes, pilots, doctors. What the fuck are we drug testing the janitor for? What's the worst he going to do? Drop the mop? I done dropped the goddamn mop. Shit. If you're 39 years old and you're a janitor, you should get to smoke a joint. Shit. Help you cope with the shit. Matter of fact, the most fucked up the job you got, the harder the drug you should get to do. If you're a grown man working in a drive through at McDonald's, they should let your ass tie off somewhere. Hold on a minute. You're going to get the happy man, you little fucker. Wait a second. Shit. Because alcohol is the worst shit going, and they get to sponsor sporting events. They do Budweiser and Johnny Walker, all that old bullshit. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of our presidents, senators, and congressmen. President Ford, Betty Ford, his wife was such an alcoholic, they named a clinic after her. You know how much shit you got to drink for them to name a clinic after you? We was going to call this Johnny Walker place, Betty, but you done fucked us up. Shit. Alcohol is a motherfucker, and I know because I'm an alcoholic. I don't go to them meetings because I ain't anonymous. You have been so fucked up, you had a south side waiting for it to turn green. <laughs> I'm about to run this motherfucker, everybody. Like I ain't got shit else to do. This is some bullshit here. Drugs done fucked over somebody in every one of our family, man. Everybody got that one cousin been in jail for a long time. Get out, want to stay with you. You won't let him? Nah, look here, Junie. I got them kids and, uh... He ends up staying with your grandma when she's scared to death of the motherfucker. Sneak on the phone, call you with the shit he's doing. It. That goddamn Junie done stole my VCR. Dirty motherfucker done took my VCR. What the fuck is a VCR? You know old folk fuck up words so bad you don't understand the goddamn thing? Plug my icebox in for my meat being on 
Then you got to rinse it out. Go rinse it out. Oh, Lord, I'm nausea. Ain't you nausea? I am nausea. What the fuck is nausea? What is that? We are different, though, man. We do. We that shit different. Like white folk, even the dogs we pick is better. It's better. Well, like white folk pick those little ass dogs. You know? What's that? That's my dog. He's so pretty. He's sweet now. Black folk get dogs with teeth. Shit they can fight. Rottweilers, pit bulls, German shepherds, some shit. Cause we live in rough ass neighborhoods sometimes. We need a motherfucker to keep people out of our backyard. We'll make a deal with a dog. Look here, if a motherfucker get back here, you tear his ass up till I can get my shit. And if you don't, I'm saving one bullet for your ass. You understand? <laughs> You ever seen a homeless dude with a dog? That's the most pathetic shit ever. The dog, man, the motherfucker. I could have done this shit all by my goddamn self. This is the longest walk in the fucking world. White folk put their pets in the house when they get caught. If somebody really cold, remember to bring your animals in the house. Black folk don't give a fuck how cold it is. We wake up the next morning. You made it, huh, King? Man, I was sure worried about your ass. I started to get in and check on you, but it was too cold to get out of bed. What you mad at me for? You got a fur coat. I ain't got no goddamn fur coat. Selfish motherfucker. And Indianapolis got some beautiful women. Now y'all do. Boy, I ain't bullshitting. You know what the problem with beautiful women is? They think that's their fucking job. They think that's all they got to do. Beautiful women think all they got to do is be beautiful. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Look at me. And pretty women can't cook with the goddamn, can't make shit but reservations. Hey, uh, girl, I'm hungry. Where you want to eat at? Uh, in the kitchen. <laughs> See that box with the stove coming out of? That's a stove. Got fire coming out. Women can. They do some bullshit, too. Well, they do. And every woman in here can find some man somewhere to help her with her bills. Every woman in here can find some man somewhere to help her with her bills. Some of y'all finding a motherfucker. You gonna get Mercedes and diamonds. Some of y'all just gonna get a ride home from work. You got to be realistic with your options now. Women love a man. They can make them laugh. You can make a woman laugh. You can have any woman you want. Brothers, you mean sometimes. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. You never make me laugh anymore. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. Ha ha. Don't try that at home. I was just fucking around. Y'all be gay, hey, hey, officer, officer. I found out why it is we take so much bullshit from women, and that is just what it is. We tolerate so much bullshit, and I've done careful research. I've been married 16 years. I know why men put up with so much bullshit from women, and it is because pussy is just that good, goddammit. That's why. That's why. It's just, women know how good pussy is, because you got to make a deal to get it. I want you to buy me a car and pay my bills, and guess what? I'm going to give you some pussy. All right, shit. What's in it for you? Pussy's so good, they should put it on the stock market. Fuck that. That'll stop that recession, because that's something to sell when cotton and corn won't, goddammit. That's one stock that'll never be down. How's the Enron down? How you pussy up like a motherfucker? I should get a lot more. It's an even match, because men love pussy and women love money, goddammit. They love it, love it, love it. Love it so much that they hate you if you ain't got it. You be a broke motherfucker. Women act like you done broke the guy. Look at this broke son of a bitch. Why does he even come outside being that broke? Take his broke ass home. Shit. Sprinkling broke all over the goddamn club. I don't know. I damn near slipped in some shit. The best pussy you ever get is before you get married. Because they're auditioning for the job. 